Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where it is a rainy day today so no watering of crops is required. Ha ha! Hello Sheet Lab, looking for a way to pass the time? Or maybe you want to earn some extra coin while waiting for your crops to grow. I do indeed. Say no more, come pay Eleanor and I a visit at the beach shack. We have the perfect welcoming gifts for you, Sunny and Eleanor. Hmm. Now then, I wonder... If that is a fishing rod. Because uh, doing a bit of fishing while you're waiting for the crops to grow on a rainy day is perfect. Also, probably I'd need to visit the cavern. Uh, diving? Diving? Oh, who are you? Hello. Oh, it's Valentina. Hey, do you know one of the many, many reasons I love rain? I don't. Because at school we get to stay inside and play. Well, isn't going outside and playing just as good? I am frightening off all the bugs at the moment. So I need to go down to the beach shack. Um, I figure that that's like on the beach down here. Yeah. Beach diving. I I'm looking forward to diving. So there's quite a few shells and things I can pick up. I'm, I'm being a little bit um, careful of my inventory at the moment though. Oh, it's only open at nine. Could have told me. Although I probably could have guessed. Oh, that's the Coral Island sign. It's so pretty. Raja Coffee Corner. Oh, I could chat to Sam. Hello, Sam. The cherry trees near the lake are blooming again, which means it's the time of the year when we gather around the lake and barbecue. I want a barbecue. Barbecue sounds fun and yummy. Who are you? Eleanor. I was telling the mayor I didn't think anyone would want to visit the island until we get rid of those... Sorry, the tar at the beach. But you proved me wrong. Welcome to the community. So there's tar on the beaches there. Oh gosh, yeah, look at all that rubbish. I guess that's the way of showing that the beach is all messed up. I don't see the tar. Is that the is that the tar? Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Oh look at the pollution there. It's horrible. Oh they let it get so messed up. We must fix. And yeah, I don't. I still don't want to pick up the, the mess there. Ah, hello, Jim. You're the new farmer. Or oh, you're the new farmer? <laughs> Shh, I see. No offence, but you look like you've never held a tool in your life. Yeah, I have. This morning, my watering can. Jim's so mean. Jim, you're so mean. All right, beach sack is now open. Let's go and have a chat. After I have a little drink. Okay. Hello. Oh, Sam's in here. Beat shacking it up. Right. So, the new farmer. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I need to be louder for that, don't I? Um, so, like... It was Sunny and someone else. I don't know why Connor lets anyone move in. Our community is great, just as it is. Doesn't like change, that guy. You shouldn't go in, you don't know whose room this is. Okay. And that's Sunny's room. Oh man. They said come to the beach shack. So I came to the beach shack. And now there's nothing here for me. Rude. Smoked salmon is yummy. Just Jim being mean and... Oh, maybe I chat to Sam again? 
still got a lot of errands to run, she lab. Yeah. Nothing more annoying than people stuck in rooms in a game. That that's it's, so far it's first bad point. But it's not something that isn't in like a lot of other games, let's put it that way. Like almost all of them. But it's still something that I really dislike. Who are you? Hello. Eva, I prefer spring to summer, but if we're talking favourites, it would definitely be winter. It's more bearable working in front of the oven in winter. I would imagine so. Well, I'm going to see what diving's all about then. The Coral Inn. Diving this way. Oh, it's all roped off. Boo. I'm going to pick up some of these shells, I think. Who are you? I haven't seen you before. Wataru. Oh, I have actually. You brought me here. Uh, are you looking for farming advice? Never worked the land myself. I'm more at home at the sea. Except for my plants here. My lovelies. Oh, are these your plants? Over here, maybe. Are there, like, crabs here? Oh, they ran away. Okay, maybe I need, again, a net or something to get them with. If I harvest a few shells, we might be able to sell them and get a bit further with things. What's this? Oh, it's a cute little staircase up. I like it. I like it a lot. So this place isn't done yet. That's also under construction, but it's a bit further along than the, the under construction with the builders on it. But I think I may need to come back to the beach shack later then. Maybe I'll go in one more time. And just see if that dude's moved out of, uh, out of their room. Eva, it's nice and warm here. Hmm. Okay. No, still haven't moved. Okay, well, we'll just have to wait, I guess, for that one. Oh, they're having a game of chess over there. And there are flat screen TVs in this. Should we check out the furniture shop, maybe? I'm still in a very exploratory mood. I figure while I've got the time. Why not? So whereabouts am I? I am by someone's house. And I want to be at the furniture shop. Ling's Mansion. Oh, there's a few strangers over there. The Lake Temple. Okay, maybe I could go over to the lake and have a chat to some people. There's someone over there as well. Okay. It never hurts to say hello to people. I'm going to have a look and see if there's any kind of, like, a... Uh, book, social book or something. There was someone over here. I think they may have moved though. I know you, Ben. Met you already. Let's go find the lake. Hello. Derek, hello there, don't mind us. We'll be in and out in no time. Oh, I met Derek. People all over by the lake. You're a new person. Lily. Um, yes, I love her jumper. So cute. 
Who else is around? A few people over this way. No, are you like just taking photos? Oh, I don't want to get in your photo. Sorry. Go chat. Anne, good day, stranger. Oh, you just moved onto the farm. Welcome to the community. My name is Anne. You're going to be a farmer, huh? What brings you out here then? By the way, you can call me Paul. Emma, so the rumours were true after all. Welcome to town. We've got a new scientist in town last month too. Can't remember his name though. Anyway, I hope you like it here. Nice. Oh, this is pretty. And there's a temple apparently. So let's go and see if we can find it. Oh, can I just like walk around in the water down here? I can. Oh, this is lovely. Hello, Heron. I have to walk the right way down the paths. Oh, so you just walk down the big path. Oh, that's so lovely. That's beautiful. Altar. I don't understand what it says. So yeah, more mysteries to be uncovered later on. They're probably not herons. They're probably cranes. A tree with a rope tied around it. We saw those trees with bows on. The last time I saw trees with bows on was in uh, Spirit Fair, I think. And I forget what it means. What's this then? Can't break it with your current tool, but apparently I can maybe with another tool. Maybe I need to do some tool upgrading. Maybe I need to go to the caverns. But yeah, I want to go to my farm and I want to reread. Oh, there's a food van here. That's so... Oh, I love that. You always get such good food from a food van. So now I'm starting to see all the people. There's another stranger down by the community centre though. So I'll go quickly nip down there. Maybe eventually I'll bump into everybody. I'm a bit um, annoyed though because they were like come to the shack and the beach shack and we'll give you stuff or, or whatever or, or maybe they were just like come to the beach shack and we'll show you the beach shack I don't really know but <laughs> didn't end up being very much there honestly oh man everyone's to the north now I just came from there <laughs> Track down these these wiggly squiggly people. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Surya. Oh, you're Sheila. I've heard of you from, sorry, about you from my uncle Yoko, carpenter. Tall, mustache? No. Yes. Who are you? Theo. Oh yeah yeah, I heard about you. You're that new farmer from San Francisco, right? Ah, that's right. Pokio. I'm Theo. <laughs> the names of things. San Francisco, Pokio. <laughs> so can I now see, is there any like, return to game, load game, settings, feedback, return to title, exit, to desktop. Um, then I've got my inventory. All right, here we are. This is more like it. Masteries. So these are my masteries. I have not done many of them yet at all because I only just started. People. So I'm missing quite a few, but I found quite a few. I think I probably do need to find, that probably is 30 and I need to find all 30. There's a lovely cast actually. Yeah, really interesting. A 
for my map, my inventory, crafting menu, I can make a sign, a fence, a gate, a path, hmm, that might be good. Make it out of trash apparently, see? Oh, a makeshift chest, we need this, yes we do. Okay, so I'll be collecting trash uh, tomorrow to make a chest with a stone path or a wooden path. They look a bit better than the trash path, probably. So I can put paths all through my uh, farming area to split it up a little bit. And it looks like there's a lot of crafting. Wow. Ooh. A lot, a lot of crafting, actually, that we can do later on. Uh, then my quests. I've done 25 out of 30 townies. Oh, we've only got another five to get. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Gifts given, distance traveled, the amount played, products and crops, how many bugs I've caught, oh, fish, insects, sea critters. Oh, some diving for sea critters, nice. That'll be what that's all about. Uh, I found one metal boot so far <laughs> in my artifacts, gems, fossils, scavengeables. Oh, I found two shells as well. And some notes. House repair. Right, so that is good though. Yeah, I, I've got like a, an idea. I need five more people, but there are more than that. So, have a look on the map and see if I can see where there's any strangers. One on the beach. Uh, one on the dock. All right, we'll head down to the beach then. Um, one like right in front of me. Hello, hello, who are you? You look interesting. Erica, oh, you look super happy too. Hey you, is this our new neighbor? Going around town, huh? Have you been to the tavern yet? Frank is there all the time, have you two met? Uh, no, who's Frank? I haven't met him. He's my husband, you know what? You should stop by our house sometime. Frank will cook us dinner. Gosh, that sounds wonderful. Yes, you can tell us your story. Wow. Erica, I love you already. Right, so is anyone else out and about and, and around? No. Well, clearly uh, the daytime is better for finding peeps. Uh, maybe we could go to the Coral Inn then. There's, apparently there's like four people there that I haven't met. So let's see if we can make our way over. That would be enough to finish that little quest line. And I will carry on, obviously, like seeing people and talking to them until I've got all of them eventually. But it's a good way to get you to explore and uh, walk around the town. Hello, who are you? Suki. Oh, hey, it's nice to see you again. Alice, I'm gonna get ready for bed and then read for a bit. Okay, uh, have I met you? Raj, no I have not. Hello, I didn't think I've seen you around before. Are you new in town? So we just met Raj. Anyone else about? No, I don't think I've met you. Oh no, that's Suki again, sorry. It's good to get more farmers here. Being able to get local produce would be a game changer. Uh, someone sleeping. Oh, this is where Valentina lives and Suki and Alice. Okay. You're not top here? Okay. Uh, this is someone who I don't know. But it's all bedrooms, unfortunately. So, yeah, I've, I've got to meet one one more person. So, I think we've only got about three to go now. Which is rather wonderful. And if I can get a little bit more together, we'll be able to... A little bit more, more money together, I'll be able to um, increase my backpack size. Look, this looks like I could build something there as well. Aha! See, I knew eventually... Clearing this path would would be a good thing to do. Yes, yes. 
Hello, frog. Definitely catch a frog somewhere. Get my bug net, catch a frog. Okay, so that was my rainy, rainy day. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to craft a chest. In fact, I might even do that now if I can. Let's, uh, what do I need for it? Can I do it from in here? Or does it need to be outside? Oh, it might need to be outside. I'll have to see. Yeah, I need trash for that. Okay, so trash, do I just pick it up with my hands? I've still got enough um, time to to do that, I think. No, no, no. Okay. And this is why I need the trash. All right, okay, so let's go into crafting then. I'll put a, a chest outside, I think. And then maybe try and do one inside as well. Oh, I've only got five trash. I know, it's getting late. I want to make a chest just really quickly. Please, quick. Still not enough. What? I, got, I had loads. Okay, that should be enough. You have to be actually kidding me. All right, I'm gonna sell the shells. Put them in the shipping bin. And then I will get... The chest done. Put that down somewhere. Oh, they're quite small and quite neat. Got lots of nice spaces in them for wood and sap and rocks, which are things that I want to keep. Oh, that's much better. Ah, I like it. Okay, now we can go to sleep. I might want to put one inside, but oh yeah, we'll make do for now. I thought the wardrobe would be in indoor storage, but clearly not. Bedtime. So, didn't make much money again that day. Some foraging money, though. Oh, the shells went for a good amount. Nice. Well, maybe then, if I collect a few more of them, or sell some more stuff in general, or finish a quest or something. Oh, are you ready? You're looking a lot more ready, but like maybe another day is required? Watering can lasts a good few waters, which is quite nice. And that's only a basic one as well. I imagine that you can get better ones at the blacksmith. And then I wonder if the lab will help you with things like sprinklers and technology and things like that. That would make sense. Just because it makes sense doesn't necessarily mean that that's always how it works, but... Like, I am desperate for extra inventory space. But it's better now because at least I've got some space. But yeah, four backpack, uh, sorry, five backpack spaces and 10 inventory spaces. So I've got 15 total. That's not very good. Anyway, I've got like three more people to find for my quests. If I have a look at my quest log here. So I still need to harvest my first crop, which I think will probably happen tomorrow. And meet two more townies. So let's see on my map if I can see any uh, townies that I don't know. There's one... Here. 
Haha, -ha, you are someone I do not know, I'm pretty sure. Jack, just call me Jack. I run the local ranch. Your lot has plenty of space to raise li sorry, to raise livestock. Once you're settled, maybe we can discuss raising animals. Nice. And then there was someone in town, so you're the 29th person I've met. if they're still around oh yeah there's a few people around now I'm just gonna be around at the right time of day for them but at the moment my farm isn't a very big farm or anything so I've got plenty of time to go and socialize oh you're not welcome here I hope that's not aimed at me Puff of fish, save the island. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I don't believe in the Karen thing, okay? I feel it's like it's mean to Karen to a nice. Hello all. They called her Karen. <laughs> Passionate residents of Starlet Town. All this commotion is unnecessary. Puff of fish isn't here to do anything destructive. Quite the opposite, actually. We're here to bail this town out. Enough with the lies, Miss Pufferfish. We can all see what you're here for, Karen Pufferfish. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can call me Karen and please do elaborate, Miss Betty. The oil spill that reached our town last year was your doing. These old bones have seen enough of your atrocities. We don't want an oil drilling company around, Miss Pufferfish. Please stop now and take drilling away from here. I'm afraid it isn't up to you, but yes, yes, we hear you. We're an oil drilling corporation, but things are not always as one-sided as Miss Betty suggests. We don't need your dirty... If I may, Redshirt, we can make Coral Island lively again by bringing in tons and tons of our workers here. Once we turn the museum into a storage facility for oil, expand drilling sites to the lake and across the beach. See where I'm going here? That sounds delightful. <laughs> I can see plazas with vending machines around town, parks. Many of our workers will want to relocate to this dying town. Pufferfish can help Coral Island become a magnificent oil town, you see, creating jobs, attracting our internal talents. In no time, you'll all see this town alive again. Picture this, pufferfish workers everywhere, chilling by the pier, inside fishing ships, enjoying life. <laughs> Red shirt? I haven't met Frank yet. <laughs> Look at the big picture here. Let's face it, nobody cares anymore about this uh, charming little island. Let us bail you out, expand our operations here on Coral Island's coast. That'll make this island a world famous oil town. We're putting you on the map. All you need to do is say yes. Oh. And by bailout, you mean drilling around the island? Grunts. Pufferfish's investors will make a hefty profit. Do the math. It'll trickle down to you people. <laughs> trickle down. Folks, let's call our heads. Nothing will be solved if we act out of emotion. Miss Karen, thank you for your time. Our door is always open, Mr. Mayor. Is that what was under construction? I think it might have been. Yeah, it was. Puffer Fish Industries. Save the island. They even bought mini golf in here. Get away, Karen. <laughs> she lab, right? Oh, I know you. Pleased to make your acquaintance. No need to be confused, you don't know me. I'm Karen, I'm with Pufferfish Corporation. Sheelab, this island is dying. We both know it. These people, they're just in denial. We should just make the best of it. <laughs> okay. Townies gifted. New quest, making friends. Okay. Who are you? Scott, you're from Pokyo, huh? I came from a metropolitan area myself. The Big Apple. You've heard of it, I'm sure. Is it New Yorker? Oh my goodness, look at all this trash. What's this place? It's horrible. 
Was that like that before? Oh, that's the back of the museum. Oh, the museum is now open. Oh, let's go look. Lots of things opening up now. It is gorgeous. I love a nice museum and this is a really nice one. Nope, they haven't magically returned. What's wrong? Oh, hello there. You're Sheila, right? I'm sorry, you caught me at a bad time, but... Just look at this. It's so empty. My life's work. <laughs> Displaying nothing is so high concept. It's great. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Sheila. I worked so hard to fill the museum. Well, it wasn't completely filled up, but at least it's not empty like this. I'm not gonna lie, when Millie told me the town was going to sell all of our collection, I was furious. It's not a feeling that I'm used to. The one thing I was good at that made me feel useful is going to be taken away from me. I couldn't stand it. But deep down, I knew the town really needed the extra funds to clean the oil spill. There wasn't much I could do about it. So I went back to my folks to cool down and think about what I'm going to do next. That's when I realised I had two options. Am I going to continue the pity party or am I going to rebuild the museum's collection now the town isn't in an immediate crisis? Yeah, let's get it built back up. That's right, I'm going to rebuild the collection. By the way, Shilab, I've heard some things about you. People tell me you're good at finding things. Now, I'm not too bad at it myself, but I can certainly use that skill of yours. I haven't really found much yet, but oh well, maybe some shells. If you find anything interesting, why don't you bring it over? In fact, I did find something. I found a boot. Uh, I can bring anything? Not anything, anything. We have a list of items we want to display, things like historical artefacts, fossils, critters, sea creatures, and so on. Just drop by whenever, and we'll see if anything in your bag can be displayed in the museum. So what do you say, Sheila? Want to help me fill the museum with treasure of the treasures of the island? Yeah! Let's do it! That's what I like to hear. Hey, donate an item to the museum. I have just the thing! Wait a minute, I'll come back. Who are you? Oh, I know you. What do you think of this weather, huh? Another gorgeous spring day. I don't know you, though. Archie? Are you really the new person? Dad said you were a farmer. Is that right? What kind of farming tools do you have? Okay, I believe you. Why don't you look like a farmer, though? Because of my awesome purple hair. Which is just far too awesome for a little kid like you. Ugh. Loads of trash. Nah, he's busy. I got my boot, you see, that I, got, I had from earlier. Just wish that my house was in five miles away, then I'd, I'd put it away in there. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's a kitten. Not in the game. In real life. The real one. Okay, let's grab this boot. Hopefully she will be patient and a good kitty. And sit by my heater for a little while. We shall see. But yeah, that's a quest that I can immediately get done, so it's pretty cool. Even if it is a bit of a run. Is that Ben? The way Ben walks is hilarious. <laughs> like, I am so laid back, I even walk horizontally. Oh, why do I keep going that way? No, that is not the way. Not the way to go. I do want to, like, clean up the museum's garden a little bit, though. At some point. So, let's go and give in the boot. Donate here, so. Metal boot, confirm. Empty no more. Open my journal to, oh no. Open my journal with J to get my reward, 150. Now then. 
That means I've got enough money now, finally, to increase my bag size. And I kind of think that that's important because my bag is tiny. Silly, I'm going to increase my bag size. <laughs> she's doing the cute thing of like, just, just sort of letting me know she's there. She's so just sort of going under my desk, rubbing her tail. She's got a really fluffy tail. She's got a tail like a little feather duster as well. So cute. very soft so what i need now is to go to sam's where is sam's museum community center recycling center hmm that's interesting oh that's where i was that must be where i was at yeah the recycling center right that makes sense down the stairs and to the right and we'll get that bag increased in size because, yeah, there's way too much stuff in this game for a 15 slot backpack. Way too much. Sorry, sorry, Anne. I can't ask Paul to get groceries. He's just scavenged some vegetables from the lake or something and bring them home. <laughs> I like Paul. <laughs> Seems like a sound dude. Okay, so upgrade bag. Yes. My storage has been increased to 20, thanks. So the next one will be 30 and it'll be 3,500. But even just the 500 increased to 20 is going to be a big change. So I'll get that second row for 3,500 and then probably... The third row will be probably like 5,000 or 10,000 or something like that, I would imagine. Okay, so what else do we have to do quest-wise? I did the museum one. I've got a gift, some townies, some gifts. Hmm... That'll be interesting. I actually think I'm going to head back into Sam's and I'm going to buy some extra seeds if I can. Because we don't have many growing right now, do we? Have a look in the shop, shall we? So daisies, turnips, potatoes, carrots, cauliflowers, grass starters, sugar, wheat, bread. Alright then, how about we do some... Potato, carrot, maybe? We've got turnip at the moment. Let's do potato. Okay, well, I can only buy five, but... It's a start, right? The turnips will be ready soon as well. I should do as well as take my axe and see if I can get into the hot springs. There are a few places around town that sort of need to be opened up and I, I don't know whether that's going to involve an upgraded axe but it's definitely worth a check. Well, let's go and uh, probably spend some of the rest of the day like we've done a lot of uh, questy questy stuff. So maybe some time spent uh, using my stamina, remaining stamina. Uh, I will plant in my new potatoes first. I love planting seeds in this, it's so, it's so nice. I think it's really important in a farming game to have a good, like, um, like the animations to be good, like the seed growing and the... Let's get some of this trash up. And maybe the grass will grow in across there and then maybe I can make a little field. 
in that space or something. Four cows, a little pasture. So I won't be able to get rid of that stump yet, but definitely worth cutting down some more stuff. Uh, in fact, um, upgrading my house involves only collecting materials, apparently. They did say they wouldn't charge me any money for that, so that's quite cool. Yeah, that's looking a bit more empty. So, rather a lot of money is required for quite a few things. Um, you seem to be able to make money from selling things like stone, selling things like wood. But I also kind of want to keep them for obvious reasons. Construction and things. I could even make, make myself like a little tree farm or something, couldn't I? It's amazing how time how like time flies when you're having fun, isn't it? Okay, so the other thing that I probably should do actually is uh, again I've got a path that's like totally chock full of overgrown weeds and rocks and trees and stuff. So let's get that chopped down. Okay, I'm feeling very tired now, so I think that that's going to be it for today. So today we made ourselves a chest. Um, I planted a, a little bit more potatoes. We got an expanded inventory so I can go and do a bit more collecting. So if I see shells and flowers and things that I want to collect and sell, I'll be able to like pick those up. Uh, then when we get to 3,500, I'll be able to get a, a whole new one. I also do want to check out like the furniture store, try and furnish my house nicely. Uh, find out what all of these little things are all about, these little shrines and things like that but I think for now it's probably time for me to head to bed and we'll have a think about what presents I want to give everybody uh, in the morning I have to gift five villagers and I don't know what would be a good gift um, I'm imagining that trash and wooden things like that probably not so much but anyway there we are so I hope you enjoyed the episode if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more please subscribe I'll let you know when the videos are out I hope to see you next time in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.